What up, what up, what up? Today, we're gonna be talking about Moet Imperial Nectar. Right. Nectar Imperial. She knows what she's speaking about. Fortunately, if you guys hear any noise in the background, it's her puppy, Sincere. He's trying to get out of his crate. Don't mind that. But let's get into this video. All right, so Moet. This is gonna be our first taste, as we said. This is our new series. You guys don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, all right? So, I've never tasted it before. Have you tasted it before, babe? I haven't tried this one before. Well, we've had Moet. I've had the Rosé. I've had the original Brut. I don't like the Brut. I'm expecting to like this because you it's our actually... Brut. <laughs> <laughs> brut. So, um, I'm actually very, very, what would you say? I'm very intrigued. Yes, You're very intrigued. Excited. You're very yes. All of the above. All of the above. I'm ready for this because apparently it's supposed to be a little bit sweeter than normal champagne. So you know what? I'm dying to taste it. Um, talking about the box, really nice standard Moet box. You know, it's 750 milliliter. The price, I believe, was $98 Canadian at the LCBO. 12% alcohol, most champagne, most Moet are 12%. As I said, this is the Nectar Imperial, or as I would say, Imperial Nectar. Um, and the sugar content is 42 grams, so that's a little bit more than the regular champagne. So it should be a lot sweeter than your normal Moet. So, and as you guys see. know, uh, Moet is made in France. Um, are most champagne made in France, babe? I think so. I would expect it to be this France, France, Champagne, France. You know, that's my French. Pardon my French. Um, yeah. So let's go unbox it. Let's see what's going on on the inside. Oh. So this is chilled. So this is how it's looking, guys. Give you the 360. I'm gonna let my dear open the <laughs> bottle because as I said before in our previous video, her birthday was December 31st. We actually didn't open it because we wanted to, you know, do this video for you guys. So you guys, go on the comment section. Let us know what you guys are thinking about the video. Let me know what you're thinking about the series. And don't forget to let me know what other alcohol we should try in this series. You guys let me know your favorite alcohol, your favorite liqueur. As she said, we're probably not going to try liqueur. But your favorite rum, favorite brandy, favorite wine. This is the wine lady right here. She's probably had all types of wine, but we're still oh, going to do it. Oh, hold on. Thing. Look at this. This is stamped and sealed. Back here, what does it say? By appointment to by uh, appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Oh. Look at this. Uh, so the Queen drinks this. Thank Actually, you. I did read that Moet is her favorite champagne. We got to do yeah. that. I yeah. had no idea. I didn't even know the Queen could drink alcohol because she seems so uppity uppity, you know, T T T uppity. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is it right here. Let's give it a try. I hope Ooh. it doesn't go off. Ooh. What's this? Ooh, I need. You I need something like wow. cloth or something. See, you guys, we're not champagne drinkers, but I know you're supposed to go like this. So this is chilled. I know you do a little turn twist with it. Is that how they do it? Ooh. Boom bam. Boom boom bam. All right. Cheers to 2022. Cheers to 2022, baby. Let's go. Let's have our first taste. 
Ooh, this tastes good. This tastes good. This tastes way better than any other champagne I've had. It is really good. It's nice that it has a really sweet taste to it. I don't... Mm. I forgot to do the smell. It smells like champagne. But I like the taste, guys. You see the pinky? It's weird okay. because I can't say that it tastes like something I've had before. No, it's a different taste. It's not. It's like, a very different taste. It tastes really good. It's the sugar. It's really sweet. I can not taste the nectar. Can you taste the nectar? Mm -hmm. Okay, when you taste it, don't wait till the end. Wait till the middle before the fizz pops in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit. Right, let me. Sorry, after the fizz. When it settles on your tongue. Yeah, I do. The nectar is uh. in there. It's very sweet. But it's not overly sweet. Mm. Woo! This is good. This is nice. I understand why Moet actually costs the price it does because it's actually very nice. Very, very nice compared to some of the cheaper brand wines. But I mean, if, yeah. I mean, sorry, champagnes. But if you're just popping bottles for New Year's, you don't necessarily have to get this. If it's a bunch of people, you might as well get the cheaper champagne. But if it's more for an, an intimate, intimate, yeah, you might want to go with. This is very nice. I'm really enjoying this. Yeah. Very, the very smell nice. is not overbearing. It smells like a champagne, but. It's not like really bubbly where it's like rising in your nose. I know some champagnes like they yeah. go up in your nose. <laughs> not, no. Yeah. Yep. And the cover. I'm gonna show you guys the cork or whatever you want to call this thing. Right. Very, very nice. Where did the actual cork go? I don't know. Cork went somewhere flying. Went flying. I honestly really enjoy this champagne because it's a mixture of both dry and sweet. Yep. A lot of champagnes are like really just dry. dry. That's why I don't like champagne. Or there's yeah. Bambino that's like really just sweet. Sweet. I had that that is like that. Bambino. Yeah, that's a throwback. That's <laughs> a throwback. That's not for you little youngins. Mm. Bambino's like for back in the day when you just come. Yeah. <laughs> but this is, is a perfect balance of like that dryness with the sweet it's a perfect perfect balance yeah it's really really good like it's very a, tasty I'm it's very a smooth guy. i hate bubbly but this is actually good it's almost giving me like a wine like yeah bubbly a wine. wine yeah a like bubbly. a sparkling wine yeah yep. <laughs> it's really really nice guys if you haven't tried this i would recommend you go out and get it yeah just the imperial nectar or nectar imperial because as i said i've had the rosé i wasn't impressed and i've had the brute not impressed at all so this i actually like this is actually really balanced apparently it goes well with fish as well um it seems like a lot of alcohol goes well with fish but yeah. i think even cheeses like this would go really well with cheese as well but I want to thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let us know what you guys think of the video. Also, what more things would you like to see? Do you want to see us talking more about different wines, beers? Oh, beers. Oh, beers, yeah. Would you guys like us to try some beers for you? Would you guys like us to try drinks with food on the side? Let us know. And with that being said, guys, don't forget to follow your heart. Take your brain with you. Keep a smile on your face. And with that, peace.